Hi, this is Sean with Fluke, and today we're going to be doing tips and tricks with the 1587 FC meter. We're going to be doing some of this on a VFD drive. Uh, today I've brought in a demo unit uh, representing a VFD drive for safety purposes. First, let's go ahead and turn our meter on, and we're going to go ahead and connect it to our Fluke Connect app. I'm going to hit the Fluke Connect button. And let's go ahead and link in our meter to our phone. Perfect. Now that we're getting linked into our phone, we can save these measurements for future reference. So in the field, if we had a VFD issue coming on, any concerns, we'd be able to save these measurements for future reference and for reporting purposes. So let's go ahead and do some voltage measurements on the input voltage for the drive. I'm going to go ahead and turn my meter over to volts and confirm it's there. Let's make sure the test leads are put in the correct position. And we can go ahead and make our input voltage connection. As you can see, the input voltage going into our VFD is 121 volts. We're going to go ahead and save this measurement into our Fluke Connect app. So now that we've made that measurement and saved it, let's go ahead and check the voltage of the output of our VFD. In this case, we're going to go from L1 to L2. As you can see here, the output of the voltage that we're reading, 251. This is a common problem with meters that would not have a low-pass filter built into it or that function. What happens with a VFD drive is the pulse width sends out a signal for the motor to be working. Most meters have a high bandwidth when making this measurement. By putting the low-pass filter into this application, we put a filter in and get the bandwidth into a measurement. Going to go ahead and make the, save this measurement. As you can see, we've got now 232 volts. We're going to go ahead and save this from L1 to L2. Hopefully, this helps out in the field. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.